Hello, my name is Grant Ronald from the Oracle Mobile Platform team. Now, the world's not a perfect place and it's probably fair to say that the world of software development is certainly far from perfect. Now, with the best intentions, you'll have a few bugs in your code and at some point, you'll probably find at least one part of your system that's not performing the way that you might be expecting. What's important though is that you're armed with the tools and the information to get an insight into those problems, understand the issues and of course try and fix them. In this video I'm going to give you a very quick overview of Oracle Mobile Cloud Services, logging and diagnostic capabilities and show you how you can get an insight into system performance and issues when things do unfortunately go wrong. So let's start with the basics. What do we mean when we talk about logging and diagnostics? Well, logging is the act of keeping a log that records events that occur during a system or a software run. So a log should capture what happened, when and to whom. Diagnostics is a program written for the express purposes of locating problems in a system and preferably it provides solutions to help you resolve those issues too. So what went wrong and of course how to fix it. Now in developing MCS as a product, we broadly saw two different roles of personas that would be interesting in logging and diagnostics. There's a service developer implementing APIs, writing code, fixing bugs, maybe even creating a few more bugs. And then there's the administrator. This is the person who's probably more focused on the general system health, how it's performing against service level agreements, and maybe keeping an eye on any failed requests that might then be passed back to the developer. So let's start by taking a quick look at how you can access logging and diagnostic information in the MCS UI, although we will cover this in a lot more detail in one of our later episodes. So as the administrator, I can click on the administration tab and have a look at the requests that have come in across all of my mobile backends. And I can immediately ascertain how the system is performing, either green, Everything's okay, amber or red, severe issues. And I can see if I'm getting any HTTP client or server side errors. Flipping to the developer role, as a developer I'm probably more interested in issues and problems directly related to a specific mobile backend. So in this case I go to the development portal, select the mobile backend I'm interested in, and there I can look at logging and diagnostic information specific to this mobile backend. So I can get an overview of the mobile backend, I can look at what requests have come through the mobile backend, and I can filter those logs as I require. So where and when does all this logging happen? Is it automatic or do you have to start writing your own logging code? Well, the answer is a little bit of both, but mostly MCS is recording numerous logging events on your behalf without you having to lift a finger. So if you look at the architecture diagram of MCS, each of the main building blocks of MCS will automatically record logging information for you. First, there are the APIs exposed through your mobile backend. Any API call made from the client will be recorded automatically by MCS. Every time a custom API is called, an event is recorded as well. Anytime your custom code calls out to a connector, MCS logs the call to that connector. This might allow you to check whether your connectors have been correctly configured and they can access the backend systems. And calls to any platform API such as storage, push notifications, those will automatically be recorded by MCS as well. Now MCS takes care of logging all those calls for you, they're implicit, but you also have the opportunity to explicitly write logging calls directly in your custom code. So if you want to note the value of a variable, whether you're entering a particular logical branch or information result of a failure, you can augment the default logging with your own logging and diagnostics code. Now you should be aware that the custom message recorded by MCS will depend on the logging level, which can be set by a developer on an MBE or administrator on a system view. For example, if you were to set a logging level of finest, that would capture all of these log messages. However, if you were to set a logging level of severe, then you're instructing MCS logging and diagnostics to only capture console.severe, even though you've made all the other calls as well. 
Now the next question you might be asking is what information is actually being logged by MCS? For something like an API call, MCS will automatically record information about what API was called, through which backend, version, and the HTTP verb and any parameters. So immediately you can see if you're calling the right thing at the right version with the right values. Next, MCS will record timing information, which can be used to, of course, measure performance. So MCS will log the time a request was received from the mobile client, which is start time, and the time the response was sent back to the mobile client, end time. MCS will also calculate the elapsed time, which is the time from start to end, and the service time, which is an indication of how long MCS actually spent working on that request. You'll also get the status of the request, and additional MCS error or information messages as well. Finally, there is some useful information for giving context to your logging data. Let's say as a mobile system admin, you can see that all the systems are functioning correctly. However, you keep getting a phone call from one user who's having problems when running his mobile application from his own personal iPad. The exact same application is working absolutely fine when using his corporate tablet. In this case, you could filter all the logs firstly based on the user and then drill down on all messages from a specific device. Now, how does MCS know a request was coming from a specific device? Well, if you use the MCS SDK, it will automatically inject an HTTP header called Oracle Mobile Device ID into that request. The value for this ID will be automatically generated by the SDK and it will uniquely identify the device. Similarly, the session ID is an HTTP header which is also automatically populated when you use the MCS SDK. So again, you can focus on logs for a specific user and then correlate any REST calls across a single application session, which is ideal uh, for giving you that insight into those, my application was working fine, but when I restarted it after lunch, I got problems kind of question. Finally, MCS provides a neat feature called a request correlation. This lets us tie together all related requests. And let's take a little bit of a closer look about how this works. So let's say you're trying to debug a problem that you know is the result of a specific request coming from a mobile client. However, that request potentially kicks off many other calls to custom API, a couple of connectors, then a platform API call. What might be important is to follow that thread of calls. The request correlation makes this possible by signing a unique ID to any incoming request and assigns the same ID to any subsequent request kicked off by that initial request. So in your logs, you're able to filter on request correlation ID to see all logs associated with that initial request. Furthermore, if your backend system support it, the request correlation ID is passed in the header to calls that go outside of MCS. So you can even tie request logs that exist on maybe an on-premise system, so it's completely end-to-end. -end. So that's a brief overview of logging and diagnostics in Oracle MCS, and in later episodes, we'll take a closer look at the MCS UI and some typical use cases. Thank you very much for watching.